Good evening. Right, Friday night. Big racing tomorrow, lads. I mean, there's so many horses I fancy tomorrow. I don't know what to do. Right, we have a few for YouTube and we have a few right ones for the Cold Bear Sports Patreon service. Let's just touch on today. It was nice to finish on a winner on YouTube. We had a frustrating enough day. Sacred, I thought. God, God didn't get the best of rides, but nice to get the Paul Nichols horse winning. I just thought that the, the extra time he might just be best caught first time out. And believe it or not, I was actually watching the racing and a few of Paul Nichols's horses were needing the runs and they were running well and finishing second and I was like lovely this is perfect for this horse because I knew the fresher this horse was the better because he was that type of big tall lanky horse you wouldn't want him over trained or over raced so today he just returned a better horse he won very well to be fair and nice to get a win where well, sacred I thought Pogo got a brilliant ride, no pressure on the rail, dominated the race, Sacred got a terrible ride, just took out the race at the stalls, no pace, dropped back to last, same thing in Goodwood earlier on in the year, just any chance she had was took away from her, uh, painful to watch, they've done it twice to her now, I do think she was the best horse in the race, I might be wrong, but Pogo got a lot to go right from, and uh, Sacred just had to came you know too far back had the challenge too wide then late uh, she looked to storm home uh, Pogo had it all to himself toughed it out I'd say the best horse came second right in fact I, I'm certain the best horse came second right uh, we also had on the Patreon service we had a non-runner who I was really interested in but then the rain came uh, we also had uh, a horse disappoint Normatic Empire I really thought he was solid today just didn't show up Maybe the end of a long season just caught up with him and didn't give his true running. Also, we had an outsider each way. That was disappointing. Maybe the ground was too quick for him. But we're moving on to tomorrow. We're still cruising along this month. Still in a massive profit on the Patreon service after our 14 to 1 winner the other day and our 11 to 2 winner. But let's touch on tomorrow. Right, the 217 at Chepstow. T Clipper, unexposed seven year old. And uh, connections will be hoping this lad can have a really good season. He has some okay form in the book, and I reckon there's plenty more to come. First run of the season, definitely you need to be wary, but this horse might have too many guns for one or two of these. Uh, the other horse is Blanchland in the 150 at Newmarket. Now, look, he has a bit to find, but he is progressive. These connections had a disappointing result the other day when their horse suffered, I think, a heart attack in the race. Blanchland is uh, definitely uh, an improver. Uh, looks to, when he was second to the good horse of Godolphins, he then backed it up, showing it was no fluke, with an easy win in Mulver or in Newcastle. So I do think 10 to 1, I'm going to be with Blanchland a point each way. And then a very interesting horse, lads, in the 5 o'clock at York tomorrow is Ziggy. Ziggy returns from a break, but the last time Ziggy returned from a break, he was well backed and he looked like Pegasus himself. He looked like JJ the jet plane. So Ziggy could be anything. He's freakish. He's obviously highly strong or, or, or picks up injuries. But Ziggy could be very, very good, lads. He's up 10 pounds, but I don't know. There was something about the way this horse won the last day. Another interesting horse in this field, again, each way is Mustamid or Mustazid. Definitely interesting to Chris Wall horse if Ziggy was to blow out on another return from a break. But I don't know. Ziggy and Must to see they're interesting. But Ziggy, a point to win, 5 to 1. And then in the big race tomorrow in the wide open handicap, the Cesarovich, I go with Vino Vic, Vic Trez, the Huey Morrison horse, and Evaluation uh, Keith Douglas's horses. I take the two of them each way against the field. They're both around 12 to 1 shots, a pint each way. Vino, Victrix, and Evaluation. Evaluation's done nothing wrong, lads, since uh, being with Keith Douglas. And uh, decent ground tomorrow. I wouldn't give up on it just yet. I think he'll run a big, big race. Has the pedigree to thrive again even further. And Vino, Victrix is coming in off the back of a gutsy enough win. Won't mind any rain if it can. Right, and then I have one i have four for the patreon service there's some good horses running tomorrow lads and uh, yeah looking forward to it all right
Bet safe. If you want to get in touch to the Patreon service, link will be below in the description and in the pink comment. We have four selections for tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I have a seven points win max bet tomorrow. Like and follow. Get in touch. Jump in the Patreon service now. You sign up today. You don't get charged again until this day of the month. So if you sign up on the 7th of October, you won't be charged until the 7th of November. Like the 20th to the 20th, the 10th to the 10th. Where before, Patreon used to sign you up and then come the next month, they used to charge all the Patreons on the 1st of each month which was outdated and thank God they've given the option to change that, which I have. So you can sign up any day now. And like I said, I got a seven points win max bet tomorrow and I think it's going to go whoosh. Round nine to four. Bet safe and enjoy.